Hello and welcome to the Creative Cobalt. Today we're going to just take a small look at some things I found on AliExpress. This is a bunch of uh, pre-painted terrain plus a couple of uh, miniatures. Let's just start with the uh, terrain. First off, I got this little piece. It's a flat piece of rock, technically resin. It's actually meant for a terrarium. And you can see there are like a couple of uh, lizard feet on here, imprint. What I'm thinking of using this for is actually uh, making something similar to this. Just uh, use a bit of green stuff and put some plastic plants on there to make underwater terrain. And that'll cover up the footprints. Then we have some rocks that I got. Uh, first off, we got this. This is just plastic rock from some toy set. But it's, uh, you know, it's uh, quite decent. This was definitely better painted in the picture. There is the skull of an animal here and some other bone uh, things. Uh, and they are not painted white as in the picture on, uh, on the site, so I will have to do that myself. But otherwise, this one was a bit expensive, so I only got one of them. But considering the skull and such, I don't see a reason to get more of it. On the other hand, there was uh, also these rocks here. So I got uh, two copies of this three-piece set of rocks. Now you can see these are pretty decent, nice little rocks. They are hollow beneath, they are just regular plastic. And you know, they are very nice to use for D&D. You can see in comparison to a D&D miniature, it is uh, just enough to be able to hide behind them. So they can make for obstacles or they can make for cover or whatever you want or just you know to make it look nice then we have this uh, nice little clutch of eggs so I figured this could be useful for a lot of things dragon eggs or spider eggs or whatever you fancy it's a nice little bit of terrain and uh, yeah, this one was also a bit expensive in my opinion, but you know, it's pre-painted and uh, looks nice, so I took a chance on it and yeah, it didn't really let me down. But definitely uh, this set of three different rocks, pre-painted, worth getting in my opinion. I think it was like five dollars for the set of three. And yeah, definitely going to get another couple of sets of those. And then uh, finally I got this. This was from a uh, Gashapon thing. So it was randomized what color you get. The pictures had lights uh, in these, uh, but you know, it doesn't actually come with any lights. So that was a bit of false advertising I would say. There was nothing mentioning that there were no lights on them either in the listing. Otherwise the set itself is quite decent. There's like this magic circle underneath here and you, this comes separate. So there's a magic circle there and also this stone, uh, this uh, gem is also loose, so it was randomized what uh, color you would get. There were five dif different ones, I think. Blue, the one I got, and green, red, 
yellow and I think the last one was purple. It would be nice to have one of each of these. I definitely need to do a little bit of painting because it's just colored plastic and nothing nothing more. But it should be super super easy to paint. Overall, I'm happy to have this, but without the LED lights, uh, I feel a bit cheated. <laughs> I feel like it was not quite worth the uh, quite worth the money I gave for it. Then there are the couple of uh, miniatures I picked up, or rather, these are toys, but I'm going to find bases for them and use them as miniatures. The first is this one. This is an ice spider from uh, Schleich's Eldorador. I believe this is like factory seconds or something like that. Something about the quality wasn't good enough to sell it normal way, so it's the factory uh, just sells off a bunch of uh, these two some sellers and they sell it on AliExpress, basically. They do that with a lot of uh, products on there. But it's, uh, it's been a creature or a, a toy I've been wanting to get for quite some time. So, you know, it's, uh, it's nice to have it. And uh, can just find a base for it and start using it, really. Maybe I'll give it a dry brush for uh, some extra of that white on it. Then there's this, which is also from Schleich's uh, Eldrador, and this is also one I've been looking to get for quite some time. Now this one you can definitely see what's missing, there should be... This black hair should go all the way around and over here. Uh, I think there should be a black beak and a stronger yellow on here as well, so there's definitely some paint steps missing. But it's a really cool miniature, very nice uh, Phoenix miniature. Uh, I'm going to fix it up, paint it up, uh, paint the missing steps, and uh, yeah, plop it on a base, and it'll look good, I think. Decently sized as well. So yeah, I'm very happy to have that. Definitely I got it much cheaper than what I would otherwise have to pay for it. So that's this little AliExpress haul of uh, miniatures and uh, terrain. Definitely got some good stuff here. My favorites being the three-piece set of rocks and the phoenix there. So, let me know what you thought of this. I'll uh, post some links in the description. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next video.